welcome back guys welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be explaining that how to reset ssd hard drive or usb drive to factory settings so probably you may want to factory reset ssd to default setting and start it over again when your ssd is running slow or when you just want to dump it or probably you just bought a new ssd and you just want to set to the factory reset settings okay so the process is very simple if you have any kind of usb connected and if you have any kind of data then first open it and take all the possible data that you want to take the backup so once you have taken the backup make a right click on the windows icon then click on disk management from the suggestion now once you come up here you will find different kind of disk connected to your computer and here you have to choose the right disk that you want to factory reset so be careful if you choose the wrong disk then all the data will be deleted wiped out from that particular disk so if you're trying to factory reset any kind of usb or external drive then you can just unplug from your computer or your laptop and once you unplug this disk will be disappeared from here and again when you will reconnect it will be coming up so you can quickly identify that this is the disk that you want to factory reset a part of this you can also match from the file explorer you can just look over the size here then you can match it from here so once you are confirmed that which disk number you have to factory reset you need to click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt choose run as administrator click on yes in the black window the first command you have to type will be disk part hit the enter key then you have to list all the available disk on your computer so type list space disk now this will display all the disk available so we have disk 0 and disk 1 we can see here in the disk management disk 0 and disk 1 so disk 1 is the one that we have to factory reset so we have to select this disk now so for that type select disk and then the number is 1 so i will type disk 1 hit the enter key and now in order to factory reset just type clean hit the enter key and you are all done and it says disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk now once it's been done if you close it and if you come to the disk management so either you will find the unallocated space or sometime it says not initialized with a red color so if you find any kind of red color and it says offline then you need to make a right click on it and you will be getting an option of initialize so you can click on initialized and once it's been online you need to make this unallocated space into a allocated space so make a right click on it choose new simple volume click on next next if you want to change the drive letter you can change it i will keep as it is click on next now if you want to change the file system from fat32 to ntfs then you can do that it's all up to you i'm not doing anything and click on next and finish and this will take few seconds and then it will show you a new volume e and if i go back now so you can see that my this disk has been successfully resetted to the factory default settings similarly you can do the same with any kind of other hard drive ssd or any other usb external drive so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and for any kind of question let me know in the comment section and i see you in the next video bye bye